from Pinball Clements is so special. Just ask 30 million people across this country because they've ev they've all felt it. You ever walk through an airport with that guy? He's hugging everyone. He is. Come over here. Give me some time. <laughs> Chad Owens, he gave you a lot of love, man. He oh, was a lot really of love. happy for you. A lot of love, man. Good to see you. Yeah, great to be Brandon back. Brandon Isaac, good to see you as well. Good to see you too. So you guys have the Eastern Final coming up. Uh, tickets available, which we'll talk about in a second on Sunday against the Edmonton Eskimos. I got a question for you about him and for you about him. Who wants to go first? He can go first. Okay. okay. Is he a dirty player? No, not at all. You're going to have to explain that because he's a guy that is just coming off a suspension for uh, a hit to the head. He was fine two or three times before that, right? So so tell me why in your mind he's not a dirty player. Uh, I mean, he's, he's a hard-nosed football player. Uh, and he's a, he's at a position where you got to you got to be physical, right? It's, it's a contact sport. And uh, I love the way uh, Brandon plays the game. So you're the lawyer for the defense here, right? Yeah. Are you a dirty player? No, I'm not. Absolutely not a dirty player. I think I just go out and uh, play hard. Uh, majority of the time, I'm a, I'm free to the quarterback. Right. And uh, I'm just trying to get there before the ball is get delivered to receive. Right. And you've done it really well, obviously. So here, here's my question. You, you're coming off a suspension. Uh -huh. You you had fines. You get a clean shot at the Edmonton Eskimos quarterback, whether whether it's Nichols or Kerry Joseph. Will you be hesitating a little bit because you know you've just had your wrist slapped? No. Okay, so what's your thinking? Like you, so so you're coming blindside, right? Uh -huh. And you got a clean shot at me on the quarterback. What uh -huh. are you thinking as you approach me? I'm thinking to get there before the ball gets out, and also I'm aware that I have been suspended in, in five, so I just got to go a little lower. So, so so it's it's that simple. It's that simple. So is, is he? Uh, obviously a great player uh, and a franchise record holder now, breaking the great pinball Clement Clements record. Uh, is he a fumbler though? Uh, I think he works. Whoa, there was a bit of a hesitation there. I mean, because he has problems with holding the ball, but I think that comes because Chad is a phenomenal football player. He wants to get every inch as possible, so he works hard to get that. And sometimes while he's working hard, it becomes chances where the ball gets loose. That was the, that, I think that was the answer that, uh, that I would have given, for sure. I mean, like, you seem to have a problem giving too much effort sometimes, right? It's not the yeah. second, third, it's the fourth effort. Right. Can you ever learn to say, oh, you know what, I'm done, uh, I'm going down on this play? Um, yeah, and you know, I think I've, I've gotten better at that. Uh, not only, you know, the ball security, but taking unnecessary hits. So it all goes together, man. And uh, especially this time of year, playoffs, uh, I'm going to be protecting the football more than I've, I've ever been. And um, it's just something I've got to get better at. But you'll be giving that fourth effort, too, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not, my effort's never going to change, but you just got to be. You've been a sure model since 2010, ball. right? Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, you, you came on the show early on, and I think it's fascinating to know that between then and now, you've become a cornerstone of this franchise. You've done some amazing things. I guess I guess Toronto's worked out pretty well for you. Yeah, yeah it has, and I'm thankful for that. What, what, are, what do your teammates make fun of you? I just got an email from someone that said, ask them what they tease him about. Why did they tease you? What did they my neck. I, have a lot, I really have a long neck, and so everybody has to joke on me about my neck. Does he have a long neck? Uh... I mean, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> no, that's a long neck. There's nothing wrong. It's not an insult to say. Okay, yeah. You know, Chris Bosch, he has like a long neck. Are you slouching now? Yeah, yeah. Sit up straight. <laughs> Is it an advantage for the Eskimos to be playing against Ricky Ray? Um, and this would be more a question for you because you, you obviously, in defense, you see a quarterback over and over and over again. They saw him for a couple of years before he came here. Is that an advantage? I don't think it's really an advantage because at the same time they got to prepare for him and uh, our offensive mindset is totally different from the mindset that uh, Edmonton had when he was there. So, no. How psyched are you? And I ask you that question because we were talking about it moments ago. Um, compared to everything else you've done, um, very excited. You know, we have an opportunity to, to to go after our dream, and that's you know winning a Grey Cup. Uh, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm extremely okay. excited. Here's a quick question. How do people get tickets? How do people get Yeah. There's two ways to get tickets. You can online. Tell, what's that? You can go online, online. at ticketmaster.ca uh -huh. or what's the other way? Uh, come to the game. Yeah. Uh, hello? Uh, that would be telephone. Uh, telephone. Telephone. Yeah, telephone. Uh, call in. 416 341 Argo. That's 2746. OTR is dead at tsn.ca slash OTR for more with these things. <laughs> The Lansbury's Wardrobe, provided by Gott Style.
voted Toronto's best menswear store. This guy here is like a Swiss Army knight. All points in order. He is punished. Big hit from Brandon Isaac. Saturday on TSN.